can hear right there, it is Taipei. Air raid sirens being tested in the capital city of Taiwan. Also, joint air and sea military exercises were conducted on Monday. This is all a response to concerns over a forceful Chinese response if House Speaker Nancy Pelosi visits Taiwan this summer. And also, developing just moments ago, Bloomberg is reporting Pelosi's office official itinerary does not include a stop in Taiwan, but again, it could change closer to her August departure. A lot to get to, and joining us first now with the latest and what's happening is Taiwan is correspondent Keone Everton, who is in Taipei. Keone, what can you tell us about what you're seeing? there uh, well there's a lot of activity actually I would say this is possibly the most intense I've seen it since I've uh, lived here for the past eight years uh, because what we have is the air raids uh, that you, air raid drills air raid drills that you saw uh, and that's going on the whole week um, and that's sort of Monday here in Taipei uh, and it's different sections across the country then we also have the live fire drills uh, that have all, are going through the whole week, and um, but at the same time, and those are all different parts of the country. Uh, they, in the west side, that was when they were practicing with uh, retreating in case the air bases were hit. Moving to the east uh, on uh, Tuesday, it was practicing on the east side if they were being attacked from the sea from the east. Uh, and today, it was practicing from the island of Jingmen, firing artillery, and in the south, practicing with paratroopers. And um, and then at the same time, though, we're having the Chinese uh, doing their intrusions in the ADIZ in the southwest and south of the of the ADIZ area of Taiwan. And then there's been a there was a drone that flew to the off to the east coast of Taiwan, a Chinese drone. And then there was also uh, there's been multiple sightings of Chinese military ships off to the east uh, and southeast of the country. Um, so that's kind of close to where some of these exercises are going on. There's also been uh, U.S. naval ships, Japanese naval ships. Obviously, and, uh, uh, it's, it is obviously destabilizing. And like you said, more activity you've seen there um, in what is usually a very calm uh, area of Taipei. Uh, Keone Everton, uh, live for us in Taiwan at this hour. Keep us posted. Thank you so much for that update. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. I want to tell you about the Patriot Gold Group. But first, let me tell you that the S&P has already lost $8.2 trillion in 2022. Did you know that? Peak inflation is not even hit despite the Fed rate hikes on groceries, on gas. You know it as well as I do. Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs are warning of another 20% drop. Inflation is winning in a knockout right now. The Fed is going to raise rates again at the end of July. Meanwhile, Goldman, Wells Fargo, and Bloomberg are all forecasting gold to surpass all-time highs. If you want to invest in gold, call 888-936-2373 now. Call the Patriot Gold Group today and ask about their No Fee for Life IRA. Sounds like a good deal, don't it? Here's the number, 888-936-2373, 888-936-2373 for the Patriot Gold Group.